Hi, my name is Wong Zuke. My matching number is 391155. To this, I will be discussing the potentials and design of renewable energy systems, focusing on the transformation of gravitational potential energy in waterfalls and the hydropower installations on campus and the potentials for solar energy at UU and campus. First, let's talk about the waterfalls and the conservation of energy. When waterfall from the top of the waterfall, it lost gravitational potential energy due to the decreasing in height, and this energy is converted into kinetic energy as the water accelerates downwards, increasing in its velocity. This process aligns with the principles of conservation of energy, where the total mechanical energies remain constant. This kinetic energy can be harnessed for particular use, such as generating the hydroelectric power. Efficient hydroelectric systems depend on the factor like the height of the waterfalls and the volume of the water flow. Next, hydropower installations on campus offer renewable and reliable energy, reducing cost and carbon footprint. They also provide educational opportunities. For example, Denmark College hydroelectric plants generates 1.7 million kilowatt hour annually, helping reduce emissions and providing hands-on learnings. It's crucial to conduct environmental assessments to minimize impact on local ecosystems. Next is calculations for waterfall or attempt. The questions given: waterfall rate is 550 kg per second, and the height is 80 meters. The efficiency is 16 percent, and neglect the air resistance. For the speed calculations, as per energy conservation, the potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy. So the potential energy is equal to kinetic energy. Hence, the speed of the water just before striking the turbine blends is V equal to 39.6 meter per second. For mechanical energy transfer, all the potential energy of the water is converted to kinetic energy just before striking the turbines. Hence, the rate of the rate at which mechanical energy is transferred to the turbine is 258,750 joule per second. Now let's move on to the potentials for solar energy at UM. The UN campus in Sintokada, Malaysia, receives abundant sunlight year-round, making solar power a viable option. The campus has ample space for solar panel installations, including rooftops, fields, and parking slots. Solar energies can significantly reduce reliance on non-renewable energy source, leading to long-term cost savings on electricity. Additionally, incorporating solar energy into the co-currents can also provide students with particular exposure to renewable energy technologies, promoting sustainability and environmental conservation. To design and optimal solar power plants for UAM campus, start with a solar resource assessment to determine sun's exposure. Choose high efficiency panel and identify suitable installation sites. Implement a system to convert DC to AC powers and use a monitoring system for performance. For instance, a 1 megawatt system with 5 kilowatt hours per meter square per day's average irradiance can produce around 1,277,000 500 kilowatt hours annually. Optimize the system with sound facing rooftop, regular cleanings, and consider solar tracking. In conclusion, investing the hydropower and solar energy at UM campus can reduce costs, lower carbon footprints, and provide valuable educational opportunities. By harnessing renewable energy, UM can contribute to a sustainable future. Thank you for your listening.